Las Vegas police announced on Wednesday night that a gunman, who was reportedly in his 60s, had opened fire at the University of Nevada campus, leaving three people dead and one seriously injured. The gunman, who is also deceased, was a man in his 60s, according to three sources who spoke with NBC News. It's unclear what connection, if any, he has to the university. At a press conference on Wednesday night, Sheriff Kevin McMahill stated that a fourth person had been shot but was in a stable condition. He claimed that two police officers received treatment for minor injuries and four more persons are in the hospital following panic episodes. McMahill stated they have no idea on a motive but commended the heroic cop who stopped the gun. He stated they couldn't say exactly which weapon was used because they hadn't moved the body yet. The day before, six people were shot and killed in Austin and San Antonio. According to Joe Biden, this massacre is not normal, and we can never let it become normal. The university became the latest college campus to be terrorized by a horrific act of gun violence, according to Biden, who expressed his sadness or expressing gratitude to the first responders. He said this demonstrated the need for more action to stop the gun violence scored. In just one year alone, there have been over 600 mass shootings in our country, and gun violence has claimed around 40,000 lives. In a White House statement, he stated, This is not normal, and we can never let it become normal. Despite all the steps we have taken since I became president, there is still more that needs to be done to combat the epidemic of gun violence. But in the absence of Congress, we are powerless. In order to curb gun violence, Republican members in Congress must work with Democrats to adopt laws banning assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, establishing universal background checks, requiring the safe storage of firearms, and enacting other common-sense measures. And collectively, we need to do more to stop gun violence from tearing apart more families and communities like Austin, San Antonio, and Las Vegas. The shooting hasn't affected Biden's plans to visit Las Vegas on Friday to provide talks on infrastructure. On Friday, he is anticipated in Vegas, after which he will spend the weekend in Los Angeles. According to University Police Services Director Adam Garcia, the initial 911 contact was received at 11.45 in. According to Garcia, officers responded right away and engaged the suspect. He said that the officers had fired and killed the suspect. In an abundance of caution, all campuses and the higher education system in Nevada are closed. Although other schools are not in danger, they are shuttered out of extreme care. A massive police presence, along with tactical squads, was observed scurrying to the institution after students received an alert telling them to run hide fight. The Federal Aviation Administration ordered a ground stop on all aircraft into Harry Reid International Airport in reaction to the campus shootings. The airport is located about two miles north of the campus. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department declared the suspect dead less than an hour after the alarm was issued. According to the force, the inquiry is still ongoing. According to officials, the attack had multiple victims as its goal. It is still unknown how many of the three victims died or were seriously hurt, as well as how severe their wounds were. According to preliminary indications, there might have been further gunfire in the student union of the COD. As a result, authorities are still evacuating each building in turn. Social media footage purports to show tactical teams scouting the campus while police are spotted observing the situation from a building's route. Numerous casualties, according to officials, were taken to a nearby hospital, and one was apparently put on alert for a mass casualty event. The campus is located close to the city's strip and across from the Harry Reid International Airport in the center of Las Vegas. It is located within a short distance from the scene of the deadliest mass shooting in recent American history, which occurred in October 2017 when a shooter opened fire on the Route 91 Music Festival leaving hundreds more wounded and 58 dead. The FBI determined that the high roller shooter was upset with the way the casinos were handling him in spite of his high roller reputation. As John Harris, the student, was exiting his vehicle in the parking garage of an on-campus apartment building, he heard what he subsequently concluded was a gunshot. Harris claimed to have received an emergency SMS alert from the institution while in the elevator. Harris, 21, admitted that he had no idea what to believe and had taken refuge in a friend's room. 
but when I came down to the street and saw there were a bunch of cops in the student union parking lot, I knew what I heard was a gunshot, and this wasn't a drill, he told the Associated Press. Fox News was informed by a witness to the attack on Wednesday that they heard multiple gunshots throughout the campus before being taken by police for evacuation. I heard more shots, she remarked, boom, boom, boom. After hearing gunfire outside and hearing police, I fled into the basement, and the police simply took me out. Yes, I could hear a lot of shots, I said, covering my head with my hands. I had no idea there were so many gun in. Really, I didn't know anything. Vincent Perez, an English professor at UNLV, told MSNBC that when he peered out from a building's balcony across the campus, he heard seven or eight Goomingan shots one after another. We came to realize that this was a real shooting and that there was a shooter on campus, he declared. You just realize this is someone out to kill people because it sounded like a high-powered weapon, echoing, echoing in a way that makes that clear. We could hear the gunshots from where we were, stated a second witness. There were perhaps 200 children in one area, and many people were in a panic. They claimed that when the group was in the middle of a presentation in a student union boardroom, everyone within received an SMS alert at the same moment, sending the building into a panic. They claimed to have placed the building under lockdown. They closed every curtain. Each person shifted to one side of the space. Following that, we had to wait for 20 minutes before being instructed to move to a corner. And there was a lot of shouting. At that point, things started to get really crazy. We all raised our hands and were led out of the building by the officers who were yelling at us. I did saw one window being broken by what appeared to be two bullets. While they were sheltering, another witness at the student union claimed to have heard screaming from next door. Everything happened at the student union, which is where we were. However, hearing that was simply really frightening. They said, as a class, we were just so scared. We ought to have turned out the lights or something, in my opinion. However, we did evacuate and walk to the corner since we were afraid after receiving these alerts. You know, we wanted more. The frightened students thought the university's response to the incident was excellent, stating that they received rolling updates. University police responding to report of shots fire and BH. Flee to a safe place, run hide fight, was how UNLV initially posted about the event on X at approximately 11.53 when it happened. The school verified that campus police were responding to a confirmed active shooter situation in BEH in a second post at 11.59. It is not an exam. Police in Las Vegas verified at 12.04 p.m. that they were responding to initial reports of an active shooter on the campus of UNLV. The Las Vegas police said at 12.32 p.m. that one suspect had been found and was dead. It looks like there are several victims right now, the LVMPD stated, cautioning the public to stay away from the area. Three students and another faculty member sought refuge with Professor Kevin E. Martin under a desk in her classroom. I can't even begin to explain how terrifying it was, Matt in remark. I was trying not to cry and to hold it together for my students. But those feelings are something I never want to go through in. Martin claimed she was messaging family and friends in the hopes of learning that a suspect had been taken into custody. They followed scores of other students who were running out of the building as another professor entered the room and ordered everyone to leave. After packing her car with her students, Martin drove them off campus. We parked and sat in silence once we got away from UNLV, she said to the AP. Not a word was spoken. We were absolutely stunned. Karen Jean Pierre, the press secretary for the White House, acknowledged learning of the shooting on Wednesday. It goes without saying that we will keep an eye on what is happening right now. She stated, I don't want to get ahead of what local enforcement officials are probably dealing with right now. Following weekend killings, the U.S. has now surpassed the mark for the most mass shootings in a single year. The 37th and 38th mass shootings of the year occurred on Sunday, two hours apart in the states of Texas and Washington. The previous high of 36 set the previous year is surpassed.